For the first part of our blow-up challenge, we were testing removable hard drives. These days, we save our whole lives as data. Photos, letters, music, financial details, the works. Data has become one of the most valuable things we own. And as such, we need to protect it, defend it, and save it from harm. But how? We've come to a testing range to try out two of the roughest, toughest memory devices known to man. They're designed to defend your precious data against pretty much anything you throw at them. But which one should you choose? And are they as tough as they claim? Well, that's what we're about to find out. I reckon this is what you should go for. A 250 gig century safe, fire safe hard drive. But it's not just any old hard drive. No, this is the hardest hard drive that you can get your hands on. It's a sealed, shock-resistant disc encased in a super-tough concrete-based shell to protect against flames and immersion in water. But I think the best option is the iDisc Bulletproof. My four-gigabyte contender's a bit of a trinket compared to Susie's galumphing colossus. However, I've always thought the size doesn't necessarily matter. My iDisc is an armoured USB flash drive. Admittedly, Susie's drive can hold 62 times more information than mine, but I think solid-state memory has the edge when it comes to ruggedness. OK, it's generally smaller, but there are no moving parts. Far fewer things to go wrong in a disaster. Both of these storage devices should be able to protect your precious data under pretty much any conditions, barring a nuclear attack. So, it seems only fair that we test these out against a serious barrage of abuse. Am I right, Private Bentley? Yeah. Yes, but does that make you Captain Perry, then? <laughs> yes, do come along. Cool. We took some pictures to load onto each of our hard drives. After each test, we'd have to retrieve the snaps to prove that our storage was doing its job. Our first test was for water resistance. Both our drives are sealed and claim to be capable of withstanding submersion. So we'd prepared them a pool with thousands of litres of water. To properly protect your data, this hard drive should be able to survive sprinklers, spills, or even being flushed down your loo if you've got a really big toilet. So I'm going to put mine in here. Hmm. And as a rugged, portable drive, the iDisc should be more than capable of surviving the odd uh, drop in a puddle or, indeed, dunk in a pond. And because this was a blow-up challenge, we'd also thrown in a great big depth charge containing 120 grams of explosive. This would subject our drives to great pressure, meaning if there were any cracks or weaknesses in them, the water would be sure to get in. Three, two, one... <laughs> Ooh, excellent! Oh. Hey. But would our drives have survived? Our drives looked fine, but what about the data? With water still dripping from my sentry safe, I wasn't overly confident. Open. Well, that's good. That's a good start. Well, and... The there. There's the file. Oh, oh, and there they all are. Woo! Mm. I'm still going. So, Susie's sentry safe was still working, but was my little iDisc USB stick. So, look. Ah, brilliant! So, both still in the game. On to test two. Now for our next operation. Extreme heat can damage a drive beyond repair. And we need to know that the data in these two can withstand a fire. Yes. So we'll be requiring some serious pyrotechnics. Mm. My sentry safe shell is made with fireproof chemicals for added protection. My iDisc has a double layer of heat-resistant copper shielding its electronics. But would it stand up to Perry's pyrotechnics? We prepared a canister of propane which, when ignited, would create a massive fireball. Ready? In three, two, one! Even after the explosion, the propane continued to burn with flames of nearly 3,000 degrees Celsius. Excellent. Look at them, still burning. Yes, that'll give a good toasting. Oh! Oh! oh. An added bit what of What a shock. finale! Amazingly, my eye disc looked totally unscathed. Oh! oh well, it's those... working. Oh, they're all there. Brilliant. Marvellous. The sentry safe was looking very crispy indeed, but it was the data inside that mattered. Look! Oh, look! Yes! yes! Woo! We drowned our gadgets and engulfed them in flames, and they were both still working. But we'd saved the best and most brutal till last, the shock test. Electronics really don't like a shock. As we found out last series when we blew a couple of laptops sky high. 
Despite being the most rugged laptops available, they were smashed to smithereens. No manufacturer would expect their kit to survive an explosion that big, but we were keen to find out just how much of a disaster our memory could withstand. So we placed our gadgets on top of 200 grams of gunpowder. Three, two, one, fire! Woo! The metal case of my eye disc is filled with resin to absorb impact. Whereas my sentry safe's case isn't shockproof, so I was relying on the rugged internal workings of my hard drive. We still had to find our gadgets. My drive had been blown clean out of its case. Is that it over there? Yes! It is. Wow. Hey, look, look. Ooh. Fully intact. It is, that is intact. Right, now where's yours then? Ah, is it over here? No, it's here. So we'd found them both, but had they survived with our data intact? First, I tried my sentry safe. It's Very still good. fantastic. Well done. Well done, little hard drive. Let's have a look at yours. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, are you surprised at the results, though? Really surprised. I'm particularly impressed by this, Suze, the sentry safe, which I've got to say I didn't know about. I mean, I've got a couple of years' worth of really precious data on an external mm. drive. But, I mean, things happen, fires happen, floods happen. Something like this could potentially keep your stuff safe. Exactly. It's completely fire and waterproof and not just resistant, yes. which, you know, some of them say they are. And it's also not actually that much bigger than a sort of standard external hard drive. No, it's not. It's not yeah. ridiculously large. No. But you're looking for me to award a we'll winner, need a winner. Here, aren't you? OK. I've got to say... You're not going to like this, series, <laughs> but look, John's little 4 giga is iDisc bulletproof, which, OK, is not anywhere near 250 gigs in capacity, but look at it, it is pristine. It looks like it's just come out of the shop, doesn't it? Does, it? It's just yeah. got out of the packet, and so, John, you win the first part of this week's challenge. OK, but I'm not worried about that, because that's only the first part of our blow-up challenge. We've got two parts still to come, including a fabulous challenge where we blew up two photographs to see which was better, film or digital.